Power 92. We are number one in the streets. Power 92, number one in the streets. Your boy, High Rod, the lid pit of full effect, man. On the Monday, a hot Monday. And it is hot in the studio. Sweetie is in the building. What's up, Hot Rod? Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Chicago, first Thank off. Thank you. It's my first time here. And how, how, how you enjoying it so far? Have you got a chance to look around? Look, I'm trying to try some of y'all pizza. Pizza? Yeah. Ah, we got, okay. Are we, are we going on a pizza date after this? You might got to. I'll say no more. That, that's, all, that's all my alley pizza. Uh, man, again, welcome to the city. Mm -hmm. um, huge fan of you. Uh, Thank you. Me and my uh, producer, Bria Fashion, she's also a radio personality. When we heard your record on, on here, we was like, man, that sound like, is that Kaya? Uh-huh. But yeah. it was you, and we was like, we just listened to it. I'm like, we saw your picture, and I, I actually said, you know, she got a challenge. I was like, damn, sweet, fine. She's fine. Like, so. <laughs> she could anyway, um, Icy Girl. Mm -hmm. That's the track, and that's what's been going crazy around the world. Uh -huh. Explain that track to us. So, Icy Girl, what I love about it is, like, hella inspirational. But, like, you can still turn up and twerk to it. So, it would just depend on, like, your mood. Like, for real. Because, you know, it's, it's the classic, um, my neck, my back. So it got that vibe to it, but then I'm also talking about, you know, like some real stuff, like investing in the right companies, and like I'm very um, big on like my circle, my team, my friends. So you know, it can go either way. Educated, for real educated. Like you yeah. went to San Diego. San Diego State, and then I transferred to USD and graduated with a bachelor in communication. So, wait, so you gonna be a you're a radio personality too? I mean, I could do that too. <laughs> so when you was at USC, uh, got your commu uh, communication uh, bachelor. What uh, did you look into radio? Was that even a? No, it was one of those majors that I was interested in. I felt like, um, you know, if if I didn't get to music soon enough, I can use like communication to apply to another job. Okay. Yeah. And you always wanted to do music since I was fourteen. Mm -hmm. right, and who, who, who was some of the artists that inspired you? Um, well, around that time, you know, Young Money was hot, Drake, Nicki, Wayne, and like they was always rapping over other people's beats, J. Cole, and that's why I kind of got my inspiration to just rap over other people's beats. So, yeah, I was like writing poetry and then transitioning into rap. And how did the poetry go? How did the poetry thing? Um, I just really needed to express myself because people was getting on my nerves. <laughs> uh -oh, we get <laughs> nah, so it was just, you know, it was like my way to, like my diary. diary. Yeah, and I didn't really know that I was writing poetry at first. It was just kind of like expressing myself. So you were just upset about I was upset and then just started rhyming and then I was like, okay, I like this. So can we, can we go back to that poetry moment? What, what was upsetting you? It was growing pains. I was a teenager. I mean, who don't got that? We actually got a young teenager in here. That's a, a fellow Chicago. She's a Chicago rapper. Uh, oh. She was on the rap game. Mia K. She's so icy. She's so icy. Mm -hmm. well, what is an icy girl? So an icy girl, well, she's fly. You know, her hair, her nails. She got jewelry on. You know, all that good stuff. Um, You know, she's educated. She's a hustler. She's just a bomb woman. Or a girl. <laughs> Sweetie just said it. Uh, you got the EP out. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody about the EP. Um, so it's called High Maintenance, and like I'm high maintenance. I like my hair, and my nails, you know, done. But like, if you took a deeper look into it, like I love, you know, my friends and my family. So my relationships are high maintenance. Like I pray a lot, so my soul is high maintenance. Um, my body's high maintenance because I eat good. So it's like an all around type of thing. Mm. I'm pretty sure that inspires like a lot of women out here. And what what's some advice that you give these women? Women and men, I feel like everybody should be high maintenance. You know, like definitely have good hygiene, but it's just like you know everything about you should be high maintenance. Like you know, like like I said, your relationships with people, like your body. Like I'm working a lot, so it's like I have to eat better because eating out a lot, like my body can slow down. I'll get tired. I'll get cranky. Like if I'm not eating the right food, like. All that processed food is real. Like, people don't realize that you're killing your body. So you vegan? No. Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 no, I need my meat. I just eat the right meat. Okay. 
But um, but I, the advice I would get is to just believe in yourself. Because when I wrote Icy Girl, like, I wasn't where I wanted to be at in my life. And I was kind of, like, riding my way out of my situation, and I did. Dope, dope. And, you know, you remind, I mean, like, when you're talking, like, it reminds me, and Brett rest his soul now, mm-hmm. XX. That's so crazy. It's super crazy. But he was writing about, you know, sad times in his life and everything. What's, what's one part of your life that you could wish, if you go back, that you would change? I wouldn't change anything. I like who I am today. So I wouldn't want to go back and then, like, I get here and I'm missing that, that part that made me who I am. So I wouldn't change anything. Facts, facts, facts. Sweetie is in the building. You know, we're going to go live. I want, I want the world to really hear. Okay. Sweetie, so we're going to come back to this. Right. All right, too, we are back, man. Sweetie is in the building. Sweetie, what's going on? What's up? Not much. I'm happy you in Chicago. Uh what you got going on this week? Are you going back to LA for? Oh, it's BET weekend. Ah. Yeah. You're going to be out there? I'm coming. Okay. Uh, uh, he mad. He mad. I'm going to be um, <laughs> performing at the BET experience. True. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, we, we need to get some pass, Lee. What's up, man? Uh, 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 yeah, I think <laughs> it's a free show. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. We, yeah. we definitely, I'm definitely see you out there. Um, got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, also, we got to get to it. Icy Girl Remix. Yeah. Kalani. Mm-hmm. What made you choose Kalani out of? Well, she's from the Bay, too. Um, and the fact that she was rapping on it, I think it's special. Because a lot of her fans don't know that she could rap. I did not. And she, like, did her thing. And I think that we just, you know, we worked well together. The music video was popping. And it was just a great, like, I was excited for that to be my first, like, really big major feature. Mm. Yeah, I I, was, I did not know she could rap like that. I was like, okay, come on. Yeah. Like, she came up here a few times, super cool. Uh-huh. Super, y'all, y'all real cool on the West Coast. Mm-hmm. I, I, oh, okay. I, I, I love the West Coast. I love the West Coast. I, that's like my second home. I always tell everybody that's my second home. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking forward to coming back out to the West Coast. Uh, who's some? What's some other female artists that you you listen to? Or um, I don't really with? like listening to other artists that are current because if I like it, it'll subconsciously influence me to start rapping like them. That's happened like to me before. And it's just like, I want to make sure that my sound is special. However, there are females who like, whose music I do like, like I like Cash Doll, I like Cardi, of course, Nicki. Um, she's been around for a minute, but I don't like to, I listen to a lot of like 90s and 2000s, like type of songs to get inspiration. Cause like, I love music. So if I love your song, I'm gonna get like, in like, like, when I'm writing, I'll start to, like, I might, I might say something or I might flow, like, the same. Yeah. So I got to be careful. Because I, I know I hear, I hear it in some of your songs on the EP. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was High Maintenance. Mm-hmm. You, you did some with, I think it was Lil Wayne. I mean, that Cash Money era. Yeah, the Cash yeah. Money, yeah. So, high Boy, High Girl. Yeah. yeah. You, you snapped on that. Um, mm-hmm. Also, I read some about Foxy Brown. Yeah, my mom listened to, like, a lot of Lauren, Kim, Foxy. So... So that's in your soul. So it's in like in my soul, in my ear all the time. Like they just have like that classic timeless sound that I would that I aspire to have. Okay. And where do you see yourself like mm, I say like five years from now? Five years. Um I'm definitely aiming for consistency. So I definitely um, you know, some some popping charting albums, um, some dope visuals. I founded my own label, I C in November. Yep. So once I'm like once I have the foundation, I'd like to go back home and help other artists get to where I'm at. Because, like, although I'm from the Bay Area, I finished high school in Sacramento. And being, like, a kid in Sacramento wanting to do music, you feel just kind of, like, trapped. Like, we didn't have social media back then, so, I mm. mean, kids now have that. But it's just, like, I'm like, dang, how do I become a rapper? Like, so I'd like to go home, find some raw talent, and help them out. Now, we got a rapper that does that here. Mm-hmm. We got a few rappers that do, do that here. What what gets you to that point that make you like, hey, I, I need to go back and give back to my city or I need to go back and help somebody else get up? I think once I have um, a couple of successful projects, because I can't help them if I can't help myself. So it's like I want to have the foundation laid so that when they come in, like everything, all the resources are set up the right way. Okay. I could like, I can spend time with them and like focus on their music because I can't be trying to focus on my music and somebody else's. It don't work that way. I'm very hands-on. So like... Me writing, I need to be in my mode. Me creating my my treatments for my music videos, like it's a lot that goes into this. True. And do you have anybody signed 
yet on no, your record? I'm focusing just, on myself right now. Just you? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, got you, got you. Man, um, also, you got, it's only nine tracks on the album, like nine, ten tracks. Eight. Eight? Uh-huh. What did I see? I must have been a digital booklet or something. I think eight, and then it's the intro. Okay. Yeah. Why, why so little? Because it's an EP. So, okay. I mean, it's not really a mixtape because... I mean, two of the songs on there was, you know, the two short instrumental and the Kai instrumental, but the rest is, like, original content. And I feel like it, it better fit EP because since it has so much original stuff on it. And are you looking to drop an album anytime soon? I am. Just, it's like, in the work? Is it already? Yeah, I got a couple of songs already. Okay. who who's Can we spill some gems? Who's on this album? Can Nobody we? yet. Nobody? Nobody? It's all you? It's all me. But I, I do want to get some features. And who are you looking forward to working with? I really want to work with J. Cole. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I really like the fact that he could write and produce his own songs. That's different. I don't want to hear that track. Mm-hmm. You got a track already in mind for him, or is this... I don't know. I want to start this... from scratch. Okay. Like, I want him to produce something. Sit in the studio. And if he could, you feel me, like, bless me with a feature, that would be dope. And what's the artist that you ran across that you just, like, just, like, super dope? Just... I'm Kaylani. Kaylani. She's, like, such a great... Like, positive vibe. She's so sweet. Um, she's cute. Like, she was just fun to work with. <laughs> I said, I feel like y'all energy was just, like, it's crazy probably in the studio, just lit. So. Um, we weren't able to be in the studio together, but we shot the video. I wish we had more time, but our schedules are so hectic. So we literally got to the shoot, got ready, and then shot the scenes. But in that little time I was able to meet her, you could just tell she's a really dope person. Dope, dope. And what else, That's before we end this, what else do you got going on at BET Weekend besides... Oh, okay. So I'm doing, um, I'm presenting at the Her Awards. Um, it'll be my first time ever presenting something. So I think that's cool. BET is partnering with Her and it's basically honoring women. And then I got the BET experience. And I think it's dope because I remember watching, um, remember Machine Gun Kelly? Yeah. I was and, huge fan of him. Yeah. And remember when you feel me like he was doing his interview after he performed? He was like, it's crazy that I was on my couch last year watching the BET Awards and now I'm here. So it's like, I kind of, I remember like watching that and I was like, I hope I could say that one day. And then, you got to say, you and I'm, say about to, I'm about to be able to say that because last year I was watching the BET Awards from my couch. So <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how everything works and just, you know, like positive thinking and a law of attraction. And then I'm also doing the red carpet. So it's my That's- first red carpet, my first time presenting it's a lot of first this week that's gonna be dope I, I, i'm looking forward to seeing that i'm definitely gonna be out there you know um getting content as, as well so it's super important yeah we we're gonna we're gonna push you out here and Thank you know you. we've been pushing icy girl out here as well so man i'm i'm, I'm glad you came through mm-hmm. and oh my gosh what? i've been wanting to take a picture out here because remember in high maintenance wait what are you trying to take a picture at? Like down, I don't know, somewhere cute. But I oh, really okay. want to uh. caption. I really want to caption. No, because I say in my song, um, "Her even the way down south to Chicago." Chicago, yeah. Like, ain't need a college yeah. girl to look up a lot, but <laughs> so look, hey, so since we on that, what's 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 your type? I don't really got a type. I thought I did, but I be talking to a whole a whole. That must be pops. Is this pops? Is this, is this pops? <laughs> no, nah, it's my manager. Oh, it's your manager. <laughs> you. Oh, I'm just asking, like, what's the time? Because she definitely said that in the song. She's like, she like, what, moved way to Chicago. Like, what is, who is this dude? And I'm you know, just trying, it I'm must not, be, a, it might what? be a type. I don't, I don't discriminate. You, you just, you're cute. You make me feel a type of way, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, okay. All right. Look, I'm, just, I, I'm not cute right now. I'm just, I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, I'm just asking questions. That's all I'm doing. Because you never know. It might be somebody out there that'd be like, hey, sweetie, I want to. What's up? You know? Got you. That's just asking. Everybody just, everybody, all eyes on me right now. I'm just asking. Run the social media for everybody. Um, So my Instagram and my Twitter is the same thing. It's Saweetie, S-A-W-E-E-T-I-E. Okay, cool. And Sweetie, thank you again for coming to the Thank you for having me. When you come back to Chicago, I want to break the whole album on my show. Got you. At, at 9 o'clock, we're going to do it, and we're going to go super big for you and turn up, all right? I got you. So appreciate you. Sweetie in the building, you know what it is, man. It's your boy Hot Rod right here on Power 92. Power 92. 92.3 FM.